All right, guys, today we're going to talk about why Cold Steel is killing it right now. Now, of course, I've done quite a few videos talking about my Master Hunter and my SRK, both of them in CPM 3V. Both of these are incredible offerings. When I take something like my Cold Steel uh, Master Hunter, the closest thing that I have to a true comparison to this knife, both in quality like materials and, you know, around sizes, is my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. And I truly love my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. It is an incredible bushcrafting knife but I will say I do think there are definitely elements and aspects to the Master Hunter that are better once again thicker grip longer handle and a fully rubberized grip so it is going to be more comfortable in Arctic climates and that is one of the huge wins of the Master Hunter over the Bushcrafter but one of the basically just game ending one-ups to the Master Hunter is that this is $89 and this is about $230 so when you look at it that way you really just cannot compare compete with the absolute monster that is this Master Hunter. And even looking at things like my Cold Steel SRK, once again, the closest thing I have to a direct comparison um, in, you know, knives is my Bark River Knives Cub, which I still absolutely love my BRK Cub. But once again, pretty similar in size and, you know, like length and materials. Once again, both of these are CPM 3V. So, you know, you have these on the upper end, but the Cub is like, you know, $250. So you look at this and this is this SRK I got for $99. So grand total between these two knives, you're looking at under $200. I think like around $190 ish um, around that. So you're looking at around 180 to 190 for both of these knives. And you're looking at, you know, pushing $500 for both of these knives. So when you're looking at it like that, absolutely insane deal but the deal really doesn't stop with just the SRK and the Master Hunter those are the two that I own currently that I talk about a lot and they are really solid picks you know really solid choices but also there are tons of other knives that I've been now really getting into gold steel with these two knives kind of fueling the flames and there are things such as the um, Trail Master and other knives like the Recon Bowie I believe it is um, that are also in CPM 3V and really affordably priced. We're talking, you know, 200 or less dollars for knives that are, you know, seven, nine inches in blade length. You know, we're talking like 14 inches overall length. And once again, CPM 3V blade steel, absolutely incredible bargains for the amount of value they offer. I mean, a, you know, overall length of like 12 inches, we'll say, you know, or an overall length of 14 inches, we'll say, you know, versus that's you know, $200, man, a CPM 3V. This Survive GSO isn't much larger than my, you know, Cold Steel SRK, and it's closer to $300. This thing's $280, you know? And so when you look at it, like really, really awesome value for these blades, just absolutely killing their competition, whether it's something like the Trail Master that is, you know, on the larger end or the Master Hunter, you know, down at the kind of smaller end. And in addition to this too, you're also getting pretty solid sheaths. I mean, something like this GSO has a better sheath, I think most people would argue, but honestly, they're pretty darn similar, at least as far as, you know, um, your attachments are concerned, they're basically using the same thing, eyelets, you know, there, and then these kind of longer um, slots for you to fit things through and truthfully when you have you know eyelets and slots like either of these knives do you can honestly mount sheaths for multi-tools you know small packs for survival um, tins and survival gear or equipment and you can do a lot to these and I've shown that in previous videos where you can mount all kinds of things ferrocerium rods you know, sharpening rods uh, multi-tools to these uh, knife sheaths to help increase their viability and make them even better survival knives as a whole. So when you look at it, I will say I would highly recommend if you guys are, you know, in 2024, if you guys are looking for getting into um, or taking your survival or bushcrafting or just wilderness self-reliance, you know, more seriously, but you don't want to break the bank. You don't want to go out and buy, you know, 250, 260, 280, $300, you know, survival or bushcrafting knife. Honestly, these cold steels offer a ton of value and I really do think, like genuinely, not sponsored here, I've bought in all of these cold steels with my own money. And luckily, it's not hard because they're so freaking affordable. Um, but truthfully, like if you're really trying to get into these knives um, or get into 
I should say these activities more seriously and you want a more complimentary knife. Um, as I've said about both the SRK and the Master Hunter here, these are knives that you can buy and genuinely be in ends only. These are knives that you can buy and just use for the rest of your time bushcrafting. These are the types of knives that are going to hold up for a very long time and really be, like I said, what I would kind of consider end zone knives. I mean, once again, with my channel, it's a little bit difficult because I'm here to provide you guys information and and, you know help test knives recommend knives so i end up buying more knives than just the, the you know master hunter srk you know um just but these are truthfully really good end zone knives and so you can see here this is my scrapyard knife company ws 1021 it is by all means a really cool knife in and of itself and i'm definitely happy to have it but you can see once again you know this cold steel master hunter actually very similar in a lot of ways but definitely even beating it you know in size and once this is about 150 to 180 dollar knife right here and once again the three-tone um Cerakote is cool but cpm 3v is also pretty cool too so you, you know really great knives and they really do hold their own even against knives twice three times their price just absolutely dominating it so i say that a lot but these are really great knives and honestly i would highly recommend looking into cold steel whether you're looking for some larger survival based knives some smaller bushcrafting based knives they do offer a lot of options and there's even i should say um smaller knives than the master hunter that come in cpm 3v i believe it's the pendleton keep wanting to say it's the Pendleton like light hunter but the light is the like one that uses the more affordable steel but I want to say it's like the Pendleton something hunter that's around a four three and three quarter or four uh, inch blade length and so it's a little bit smaller than this guy even so if you're looking for something even smaller I wanted to say that one was like $60 and once again CPM 3v and so once again not probably the best bushcrafting or survival knife for sure but if you are looking for something even smaller than the master hunter you can step down to that and uh, yeah there's just so many options for cold steel that I was aware of these options. I like I knew the Master Hunter existed. I knew the Trail Master existed, obviously the SRK, but I've really started to look back at Cold Steel and be like, man, we've really been not only selling them short, but honestly, they've been really creating a tremendous amount of value with knives that are made out of very good steels at just killer prices, insane prices. And um, I think that these guys really do honestly deserve more um, not necessarily videos or you know press but they really do deserve some serious attention because these guys are out here really dominating the field making bring tons of value and as i've said in previous videos like that's why i'm here and that's why i make this content on knives is i'm trying to get you guys the best deals the best value the best you know competitive options i'm not i don't work you know for any of these people i don't really like you know survive didn't send me a gso you know i bought it i bought the cub bought the you know bushcrafter bought the bravo one you know i've gotten all these knives and you know they weren't sent to me for free and so um <clears throat> What it comes down to, I'm really trying to like work for you guys to give you guys the best viewpoints and best angles to be like, this is worth it or that is not worth it at all. Um, you know, so that's that's optimally why I'm here. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys check out some cold steals because I don't make any money off of this, but I'm really just trying to help you guys get the best deals for excellent gear so that you guys too can enjoy bushcrafting, enjoy uh, enjoy bushcrafting, enjoy self-reliance, wilderness practices, survival training. Um, these are really, really admirable tools for those types of situations. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at these two beautiful knives here. And as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.